So let's start with the pipeline, one with Motion Builder and the other one with Unreal Engine 5. We're going to import the character, import the animation, and add character definition, which are the first three tasks for this tutorial. We're going to import the audio too, and let's see how far we can go also for the synchronization of motion capture and audio. Now, let's open Motion Builder. In Motion Builder, we want to create directory path. So if you've never used Motion Builder, just the quick heads up alt right mouse hold right so you can zoom in and out please also double check the settings right here for interaction mode and open it and please make sure that we have the Maya settings it's more efficient let's click OK All right let's create a directory path so even if you've never used motion builder just follow along look for a negative area right here and right mouse click Add a favorite path. We want to look for the character path. Now I'm given a Dropbox link, so let's open it really quick. And there you will find the tutorial folder. That's the Dropbox link. You have four folders. One called character, one called environment with the Unreal Engine, of course environment, the uh, Gun Beretta, and the shootout motion capture that's the motion capture right so we want to select the character folder and click OK now you'll notice that we have a directory path in there which leads us straight to its file explorer so if you open it right here you'll notice that we have Gary and Johnny let's select Gary first expand the folder and you'll notice that on the right side you will find crazy Gary FBX drag and drop it so let's do this again left mouse click hold and drag and drop it to the panel fbx merge this will pop up right away and do all takes there are no animations but that's fine here you'll notice that we have a take called take one now i'm going to hit Control d so you can see something right Control d allows you to open the node editor inside of a motion builder and I want you to take a look at the first few joints, right? Root, pelvis, spine one, spine underscore zero one, spine underscore zero two, right? The only reason why we're collecting this data right here or using the SK mannequin from Unreal Engine is because when we are going to set up the animation in there and import the motion capture onto the MetaHuman's character with facial animation, well, at least we have the same character skeleton prefix right so if i were to select my character i'm going to right mouse click browse to assets and by the way this is the unreal engine scene it is in the dropbox link under environment right so i want to select first of all the uh browse to assets there's my character you can also open its skeleton right here and you'll notice that we have the same prefix right spine underscore zero one which means that all we have to do is simply import the animation to that skeleton right one easy import and we don't need to use a retargeter in unreal engine absolutely not uh, i like to use it just for a live motion capture but okay so we first have gary and so crazy gary is in uh, the source stands for animation the character is basically the character we work with definition, so we're going to work with a one definition. We're going to import the animation. Right, so if I were to go back to the pipeline, we've imported the character. Now let's import the animation. Let's create a directory path also for motion capture. Right mouse click in that empty area and add favorite path. Now we want to look for that favorite path again. And there it is. That's the folder called tutorial and you will find a motion capture under shootout mocap so select shootout mocap that's my arnold impressionate anyways let's click ok <laughs> uh i do have a little sense of humor by the way uh, yeah uh we have the character and we have uh the shootout mocap so that will be the motion capture directory path right here if you select it you'll notice that we have two mocaps and you can also change the uh interface right here right so we can actually read 
our file format. One is a BVH, the other one is a BVH2. I prefer BVHs. They come with the T pose, so drag and drop it. Right, so let's do this again. Left mouse hold, drag and drop onto the scene and select BVH import so that now you'll have a yellow skeleton. Now, if you uh, play the timeline or hit control space bar, right, we now have the shootout, right? So it's just a guy shooting, right? So we're gonna hit control space bar and we're gonna go back to keyframe one and we're gonna add a character definition. Now I need to get up very close to my root skeleton, right? We're going to add a character definition because right now we need to add motion capture to this character and then bake it. And we're going to do the same thing for Johnny and that will be the first part for this tutorial. So let's do this. Also, I would like to add the audio as well. All right, so here's Crazy Gary. There's one character definition, but we don't have two character definitions, right? So let's work on the second one right here. Do it on the root. Do it now. We're going to open templates right here and select characters. You can also change the interface if you like. Uh, I prefer icon logos, right? Character, left mouse click, hold now, pay very close attention and make sure that it's on the root skeleton. You see that green highlight release and then hit characterize. It is bipedal. So select biped. So now we have the character definition. You can go to source and you'll notice that we have a new character definition called character. It's the character. Do it. Select the character under source. You can also do it through this panel right here under characters, but for right now, that would be fine. So you can actually do it through this character setting. And there are multiple ways to do it. So now if you hit control space bar, you'll notice that we have the animation. There it is, the animation that's calibrated, but, but, but I need to get the best calibration ever. Well, it's not the best ever, but we actually need to uh, set a, a really small retargeting check mark in there. So I want you to select Crazy Gary right here under characters. You will see the, this, these are the character definitions. I want you to expand that and then after look at crazy underscore Gary, double left mouse click. All right, so then now you have this character setting window and you can actually bring that up if you like. And there is the retargeting optional display right here. So expand it and please make sure that you match source. All right, so this will allow that yellow skeleton to get as close as possible to the original source. So if I select match source take a look at the yellow skeleton now you'll notice that the original source is blending much better than before right so we definitely need to use this option and for later on in the future as well there are m way more options in here but this seems to be working just fine their scales seem to be uh, at par with each other so if i were to were to select control spacebar now we have a motion capture ready for baking okay so i'm going to hit control spacebar and use the blue geared icon right here select it we're going to bake the plot to skeleton all right so blue geared icon bake the plot bake plot to skeleton obsolete do it do it there it is so now it's baking right we're at 30 frames per second which is exactly what we need and we no longer need that yellow skeleton. So Gary has been officially baked. Not retargeted yet, but we'll do that for the next lecture. But we gotta get Gary and Johnny with the audio in first. So we no longer need that yellow skeleton. Select the root skeleton, hit Control W, and then hit F. So now we know exactly where that skeleton stands. You can mark you select everything and then hit delete obsolete. You are now terminated. Goodbye. Oh, I actually didn't do it. Do it. There it is. Delete and hit OK. We want to delete the character definition as well. We don't need it anymore. Characters constraint is used by some object. Delete anyways. Yes to all. Do it. Hit control W and now we have the animation for our character. Also want to make sure and slide through the timeline 
just to make sure that there are no bugs. Yes, there are plenty of bugs in motion capture animation sometimes. We just want to make sure that everything is set, right? Uh, the feet are just a bit, yeah, they're not too static, but that's fine. Hmm, it's not that crazy, actually. Yeah. So we can actually save this file. Let's uh, hit File and Save As. And we're going to go back to Gary. And right under Gary, we can actually save Crazy Gary. Put underscore and put baked animation. Because it is baked. Save. So that now we have an FBX that is saved with animation. Let's do the same thing for Crazy Johnny. Johnny be good. All right, so now we have our directory path. We can easily just select it, and there's Johnny Mocap, right? So let's go to File and start a new file. All right, so let's save everything, and then let's import the Johnny character. So select the character. Well, it's not the definition. It was supposed to be Johnny. First. Awesome. All right, so now we have Johnny in. Let's make sure there are no bugs, no animation. Everything seems to be working properly. Uh, let's check the frame rate, 24 frames per second. We're going to work with 30 for this one. And let's move on. So we have Crazy Gary, but this is supposed to be Johnny Good, right? Because I use the same character. So let's switch that name, Crazy Gary. Blue geared icon, let's select the edit definition and rename. We're going to call this one Johnny. And hit OK. So now we have that working. Let's also import the animation. So we've done this before. Select the motion capture folder right here. Drag and drop Johnny mocap shootout. Drag and drop it there. BVH import, and there it is. So here's a yellow skeleton again. It's a BVH format. Okay, seems to be okay. Let's add a character definition. Do it, do it now. Here's character. Let's take the character definition right here, drag and drop it to the root skeleton, and left mouse hold and release characterize and it is bipedal so now we have the character definition we can now open the source optional display and select character so now we have the character blended with the yellow skeleton we also want to take a look at the character definition so it'll be under Johnny double left mouse click and please make sure that the retargeting source is matched right here check mark match source under retargeting do it awesome so now if we play the animation the yellow skeleton is as close as possible to our root skeleton of the main source and that's what we want so let's bake the animation blue geared icon bake the plot and plot the skeleton you can open its optional displays too in there but even at default works just great so it's just hit plot and now we no longer need the yellow skeleton All right we're only using that yellow skeleton as bait and then we release it to the wild be free willy hit control w right so let's go back select the root skeleton of the yellow skeleton yeah the yellow skeleton's root hit control w and marquee select everything you can hit f by the way so it leads to the bvh reference and i want you to marquee select it and hit delete you are not terminated all right that's enough hit control w and zoom out so now we have the animation fully baked and ready to go for animation let me also show you exactly how to import audio, right? We do have an audio in there. Under tutorial folder, you'll find the Gary Johnny shootout. It is an MP3 file. 
simply drag and drop it to your panel. So left mouse click hold, drag and drop it to the panel. And please make sure that the audio automatically, uh, automatically pops up. And you'll notice that we also have Gary Johnny Shootout. So if you take a look at your navigator right here under audio, expand it, and you'll notice that we have an audio in there. So now let's play the audio right here. Let's right mouse click on the timeline. Let's look for audio. We want to select the audio clip and check mark so that now if you hit play, we have that working, right? Also take a look at the animation. You'll notice that the arms aren't really at par with each other. You see that? So that'll be part of the retargeting process that will run for the next lecture. So let's save this file. Let's go to file, save as. We're gonna look for the Johnny folder. Let's select the same prefix, Johnny good underscore and baked underscore animation. And that'll be it for this tutorial. So let's do a little quick recap, right? Let's save everything, especially for that take. We're gonna open the pipeline. So on the motion builder, we've imported the character, we've imported the animation, we added the character definition, imported the audio, and for the next lecture, we're gonna finish the synchronization of the mocap and audio and finish everything else, right? A cleanup, add the prop on the gun, and then we'll export everything as an FBX for Unreal Engine 5. And just one last recap for this motion builder pipeline. This is also that we can work efficiently and in export the animation into Unreal Engine 5 with the meta humans character, right? These characters are pretty complex, but easy to manipulate once the animation is set in there. So you can actually work with the sequencer and add as many takes as possible, right? Hey, what are you looking at over here, huh? What are you looking at? Thank you for watching.